as you wish. My last card will be the magic card multiply. This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 spell cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Speaking of your defeat, I activate the magic card change of heart. One more turn. That's all I need in order to activate my monster reborn card. I create the blue eyes ultimate dragon. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most useful, iconic, as well as the most popular spell cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime franchise. We will be excluding trap cards as they deserve a list of their own. Which Yu-Gi-Oh! spell card do you think has the most mystical potential? Let us know in the comments, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which Yu-Gi-Oh! list you want to see next. Number 10, the Seal of Orikalkos. This card holds more power than all three Egyptian gods, and it's as old as time itself. The Seal of Orikalkos! Once this field spell comes into play, losing is no longer an option. Used by Darts and his followers to resurrect the Great Leviathan, the Seal of Orikalkos is both powerful and extremely dangerous. Along with boosting the attack points of monsters by 500 points, this card also allows duelists to play up to 10 monsters, can't be destroyed by card effects, and worst of all, steals the soul of the losing duelist. Rex Raptor and Weevil Underwood! The Seal of Orichalcos is a terrifying spell card capable of corrupting anyone who uses it. Even someone as powerful as the Pharaoh was unable to resist the seal's dark power. Now I activate the seal of Orichalcos! Number 9, Change of Heart. The Change of Heart. Change of Heart? Isn't that Bakura's favorite card? This spell card's power is so broken that it's been banned for use in real life. Once activated, Change of Heart allows the player to take control of an enemy monster until the end of the turn. While it is not the only monster-controlling card in the game, there is a major difference that sets it apart from the others. I'm afraid not, Kaiba! Reveal my face-down card! Change of Heart! No! While similar cards require a cost to use, Change of Heart allows the player to control almost any monster with no strings attached. Speaking of your defeat, I activate the magic card, Change of Heart! Even powerful spellcasters like Yugi's Dark Magician cannot resist this card's effect. Number 8, Scapegoats. Activate the magic card, Scapegoat! After making its debut during the Battle City Tournament arc, Scapegoat quickly became one of Joey Wheeler's signature cards. When activated, Scapegoat allows the player to special summon four sheep tokens in defense position. I reveal my Scapegoat magic card to protect me! Along with serving as a defensive wall against enemy monsters, Scapegoat can also be used in combination with monsters like Panther Warrior, which require tributing another monster to attack. Ready for a taste of your own medicine? I'll sacrifice one Scapegoat to jumpstart my panda and attack your guild guard! Furthermore, as a quick play spell card, Scapegoat can be activated during the opposing player's turn. An effect which also helps Joey to escape from a number of dicey situations. Number 7, Toon World. Welcome, Kaiba, to Toon World! Cartoons have never been more terrifying thanks to this spell card. As the favorite card of Maximilian Pegasus, Toon World is the key behind his Toon Monster's insane power. While this card normally requires life points to activate, this does not apply during the Duelist Kingdom arc. As a result, Pegasus is able to make full use of Toon World's abilities without sacrificing any life points. Meet the new and improved Blue Eyes Toon Dragon! This includes turning monsters into toons, such as Blue Eyes White Dragon and Summon Skull. Not only are these wacky monsters able to dodge attacks and counterattack without being destroyed, they can also retreat within the pages of Toon World, preventing other monsters from attacking them. No card in your deck is strong enough. My Toon monsters can't be beaten by sheer brute force. <laughs> Number 6, Ragnarok. I activate my Ragnarok card! No! With the immense power that the Egyptian gods possess, not many card effects are able to destroy them. However, the spell card Ragnarok is a rare exception. 
Exclusive to the anime, the Pharaoh uses Ragnarok as a trump card against evil Marek's winged dragon of Ra. Ragnarok is already infused with the power of every one of my monsters! When both Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl are on the field, the Pharaoh is able to banish all monsters from his hand, deck, and graveyard, allowing him to destroy all monsters that his opponent controls, even if one of those monsters just so happens to be a god. No! Stop! Call these creatures off right now! Although this card requires a heavy price to use, it more than lives up to the reputation of his namesake. Number 5. Swords of Revealing Light A magic card. Swords of Revealing Light! When the odds of victory are slim in a duel, there is no better card to have in your hand than Swords of Revealing Light. As its name suggests, this magic card summons Swords of Light, which flips all face-down enemy monsters face up and prevents them from attacking for three turns. Ready, Panic? Here it is. The Swords of Revealing Light! This card is ideal for helping players stall for time and hopefully draw the necessary cards needed for a comeback. While mostly used by Yugi and the Pharaoh, other duelists have also taken advantage of this card's power. Did we mention that it also appears during the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime? <laughs> Talk about a blast from the past. Number 4, Enemy Controller. I've got plenty more planned, like this one! Reveal face down card, enemy controller! Although its effects may differ somewhat from its real life counterparts, enemy controller is one of the most useful spell cards in Kaiba's deck. Enemy controller, activate left, right, A, B! For the price of 1,000 life points, the player can input one of two command codes, each with their own effect. The first code allows the player to take control of an enemy monster until the end of the turn. If the player chooses to input the second code, they can destroy a monster instead. Here's how it works. I drop a thousand life points to take control of one of your monsters. When you factor in the card's ability to be used during an opponent's turn, it has the power to instantly change the flow of a duel to the controller's favor. Say goodbye to your blue eyes! <laughs> Number 3, Monster Reborn. It's time to finish this duel with Reborn the Monster! Oh no! The effect of the spell card Monster Reborn is one of the most powerful in the entire game. By using this card, the player can special summon a monster from their graveyard or even from their opponents without having to pay any sort of fee. And now my Dark Magician will return! Monster Reborn! This card can even be used to temporarily resurrect the Egyptian gods, which return to the graveyard at the end of the turn. So I played... Monster Reborn! I used it to revive Slifer! Monster Reborn is so popular that it is used both by heroes and villains alike and appears throughout the many anime series and films of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. <laughs> One more turn! That's all I need in order to activate my Monster Reborn card! I'm sure you're aware of what happens after that! Number 2, Polymerization. And now, with the magic of my Polymerization card, I'll combine Joey's Red Eyes with my Summoned Skull! From Duel Monsters to Arc 5 and beyond, fusion monsters remain among some of the strongest creatures in the game. However, their existence would not be possible without the power of polymerization. With this spell card, players can fuse two or more monsters to special summon an even more powerful one in their place. And I have just the card to unite them! Polymerization! Join Avian and Verstinatrix! With the ability to fusion summon powerhouses like Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, as well as several elemental heroes, Polymerization is one of the franchise's most iconic cards and is responsible for creating some of the most memorable monsters in the franchise. Now I create a dual monster without peer, with attack force so great that no monster can stand against him.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Pot of Greed. This could be exactly what I needed. Now I activate Pot of Greed, which lets me draw two cards. I just hope these two cards can help me out. Who knew that a spell card that simply lets you draw two cards from your deck could have such an impact on the franchise? Over the years, Pot of Greed has become one of the most recognized cards in the anime and is used by almost every major hero and villain. I'll play this, my Pot of Greed. A magic card that allows me to draw two more cards from my deck. By drawing this card, it greatly increases one's chances of victory, especially when controlling a monster like Slifer the Sky Dragon. Observe my face down card, Pot of Greed! Uh. Thanks to the effect of this magic card, I can now draw two more cards from my deck. And you know what that means! The fact that most duelists in the anime constantly explain this card's effect with every use, despite its simplicity, has also inspired a popular meme within the Yu-Gi-Oh! fandom, further adding to its notoriety. Well, what do you know, Aster? Pot of Greed! I'll draw two. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.